Okay, so I want to recall this method of solving a first order linear differential equation and then generalize that to a system of differential equations. In other words, like a differential equation that involves a matrix coefficient is what we really want to look at. So here we have y prime plus a function a of t uh, times y equals a function b of t. And these are all scalars. So this is a scalar function, this is a scalar function, this is a scalar function. So this is a single differential equation. So let's recall the solution is given by the following. You set alpha equal to the exponential of the antiderivative of this function a of t. And then we get our solution is um, 1 over alpha times the quantity, the antiderivative of alpha times b plus a constant c. Okay, so now our goal is to make some sort of generalization of this that has to do with uh, vector differential equation. In other words, let's say we have y vector prime plus a times y vector equals vector b of t. And now here what I'm thinking is that A is some sort of n by n matrix. And I should say it's a, it's a matrix of numbers, it's not a matrix of functions. So we're doing a simpler case than this covers, but still it's a, it's a vector equation. Okay, good, so now we wanna look at each of these parts. So alpha, so that can be replaced with the matrix exponential, so that's how we wanna think about that. Now one over alpha, well, maybe we can think of that as alpha inverse. So it would be the inverse of the matrix exponential. So let's see what our guess should be. So our guess is that our solution, okay, so we have y vector equals e to the minus ta. So it's this uh, matrix exponential. And then times the quantity, so the antiderivative of e to the ta, so again, that's the matrix exponential, times vector b of t plus a constant vector c. Okay, so that's our guess. So now let's see if that makes sense. So let's take the derivative of this. So notice we can use the product rule to take the derivative of this. We'll take the derivative of that and this big term separately. So notice the derivative of this thing is going to be minus the matrix A times e to the minus T A times all of this stuff in parentheses. So that's what we get uh, from taking the derivative of the matrix exponential. So I'll let you guys check that. It's not too hard to see using the definition of the matri matrix exponential with the Taylor expansion and stuff like that. Now the next thing we want to do is add, so plus e to the minus t a times the derivative of this stuff in parentheses. But notice this is a constant vector, so that's going to be the zero vector. And this thing is an antiderivative, so we can use the fundamental theorem of calculus part one to just say that that equals e to the t a uh, times our vector function b. Okay, but now notice what we get here. This is equal to minus a times, notice this whole thing is y, and then plus, well, so it turns out that these two matrices are inverses of each other. That's not too hard to show. And then plus this vector b of t. But notice that's just a rewriting of our original differential equation. So that means that yes, this is a solution to our differential equation. So we have successfully uh, somewhat generalized this method of solving a single differential equation to a system of differential equations. Okay, good. So I'm going to clean up the whole board and then we're going to solve the differential equation using this method. Okay, so let's just recall we established this following fact. If we have this y prime plus a y equals b of t, where all of those are vectors and a is an n by n matrix, then we have a solution given by the following. Vector y is this matrix exponential e to the minus t a times the quantity, the antiderivative of e to the t a times our vector function b plus a constant vector. Okay, so now we want to look at, oh yeah, and 
First of all, there are lots of videos that I've done on e to the ta because I use this as a common method for solving these systems of differential equations. So we want to solve this equation. So we have uh, y prime plus this matrix 1, 2, 2, 1, y, y equals this vector function t squared plus t 1 minus t. So I did the calculation off screen that this is the matrix exponential and then it's inverse. So you can check that again um, using the methods from the previous videos. These are both diagonalizable so it's not that hard. So we get this thing and this thing. I won't read it off because there are a bunch of things right there but you can pause the video and look at that if you want to. Okay, so now we can put all of these parts into this formula that we just grabbed and we get the following. So we have y equals e to the minus ta, so again, that's this matrix down here, uh, times the quantity, the antiderivative of e to the ta times b. So now if you calculate um, e to the ta times b, so that's going to be this matrix times this vector, so you'll get the following. So you can bring a half out of the whole thing, and so you're going to get a vector, and it's going to be minus e to the minus t um, plus e to the 3t um, plus 2t times e to the minus t plus t squared uh, times e to the minus t, and then finally plus t squared e to the 3t. So that's uh, the top entry of that vector. Now we have um, plus an arbitrary vector c over there, and now the bottom entry of that vector is like this, e to the minus t plus e to the 3t, and then minus 2t e to the minus t um, minus t squared e to the minus t plus t squared e to the 3t. Okay, so those are the two entries of that. So now what, what you can do is bring this antiderivative inside of the vector. So you need to take the antiderivative of the top entry and the antiderivative of the bottom entry. So notice some of these parts are pretty easy. So the antiderivative of this is easy, the antiderivative of this is easy, but from here to the right you're going to need to use um, integration by parts to calculate all of those antiderivatives. So you can use tabular integration or really whatever you want to do in order to do that. So I'm not going to do that because that's a lot of work. It would be kind of dull and if you're watching this video on the very last week of a differential equations class, you're probably okay with that kind of calculation already. So now what I'll do is jump right to the end. So if you take this antiderivative and then notice you need to multiply it by this matrix exponential, which is this guy down here, you will get the following. So you're going to get uh, minus 35 over 27, uh, minus 19 over 9t, uh, minus t squared over 3. So that's the top entry. And then you have 46 over 27, um, plus 17 over 9t, and then plus 2 over 3t squared. Okay, so that's what you get for uh, the particular part, if you will. And then plus this e to the minus ta times this vector c. Okay, so this may look a little different than um, another video that I did on non-homogeneous systems of differential equations because the e to the ta has been switched with the e to the minus ta. But notice those are playing the same roles because in this case I've moved the matrix A over to the same side of the equation as the y prime in order to make it look like our formula for a single differential equation. Okay, so that's the end of this video.